heard CN talk about the issue of safety as well, though. They're saying there is federal regulation in place that mandates the hours of work. There is. Do you feel that that's just not adequate, that the workers are not... Are, are, are oh, abs- are absolutely, it's not adequate. And there's independent sources that say it's not adequate. Yeah. And so uh, I should make it very clear. We're in this mess for two reasons. One, because CP Rail and CN Rail have locked out these workers. It's their fault. So that all the blame should be on them. Secondly, and equally important it's the fault of justin trudeau for not putting in place better laws to protect these workers so now they're forced to have to go and find it in negotiating in the contract they shouldn't have actually even had to do this they should have already been in place the laws of the utmost quality to protect workers and canadians and quebecers that law should have been changed by the by justin trudeau he did not do his work he failed and now we're in this conflict where the big bosses have now locked out these workers. So those are the two people to blame for what we're going through. It is not the fault of the workers. How long can this go on? How long can the Canadian economy withstand this? That question should go to CP Rail and to CN Rail. They need to get back to the table, yeah, not, not lock up these workers. Work. I'm just asking whether you, how long you think that the Canadian economy can withstand this shortage, this stoppage, no matter whether it's the CP's fault or the workers. I'm just saying, how long can we go on? This? The whole point of this is to met, put pressure on the fact that these workers have gotten locked out. And so CP Rail, CN Rail should realize the harm that they're doing get back to the table and negotiate fairly with these workers. But at what point is it going to become critical for the economy? And is- this is why CN Rail and CP Rail have to get back to the table. They have to get back to stop locking out these workers. These workers are ready to work and ready to negotiate. They lock them out. So stop locking them out.